Shalom, Kohalayim La Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings, story sense of Akimah there. This question is 100% truth. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity, it's your brother Ash from the Great Millstone Miami camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rahakodash. In this lesson, Lord, when I said to find to the elect, I want to speak on, you know, just a quick exhortation on continuing in the faith and not casting away your confidence, as the scriptures say, not uh, giving up, falling out, because this is not the time to do so, which there was never a time to do so. And now is sure as hell not that time, okay? We are at the very end of this thing. You can see it. You can feel it. Okay? The spirit is amping up. It's the year of the turn up. And the spirit is definitely turning up on, on both hands, on both hands sides, okay? As the scriptures say, if you, you, you fall out, man, you get seven more demons on you. You you see the the the, the spirit of this world, the, the demons on these people are amping up. These people are, you know, wickedness is increasing everywhere you look. Okay, the hedge that we have in this truth, which are the angels, the righteous angels that's protecting us, keeping us from all these things. Are, are uh have to amp up to that the hedge have to amp up that's why scripture tell you in Daniel the 12th chapter when the time like never before comes which is you know the hour of jacob's trouble the lord's gonna have to send michael man so as the as it amps up on the left hand side the most i gotta amp it up on the right hand side so now is the time that we truly need the hedge of yahweh so that's the that was the time we truly need the Lord to, to raise a standard for us and to, and to be with us and to help us, guide us. Okay? We, we, we truly need the Lord now and in the times we're going into more than ever. Okay? So this is just a quick exhortation to continue in the faith. Keep pushing. Let no man take your crown. Don't give up. Keep fighting because, you know, as the scriptures say, we will reap in due season if we faint not. All right? This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Okay. Well, now we bring the scripture out on these uh, Amalekites, these uh, rat bastards claiming to be us. Okay. Claiming to be the Israelites, which we know. Who they are, the Amalekites of the tribe, uh, uh, the tribe of Amalek of the nation of Esau, Edom. The devil that the Bible speaks of, who the earth has been given in, in, into the hands of, as the scripture said, they covered the face of the judges. But this also goes for two thirds of our people that claim to be Israelites, that know they're Israelites, but still wicked. They haven't truly repented, and ultimately they're not of the elect. But they may have the, the top followings, the biggest congregation and numbers. The, the outward appearance is, is on point. But inwardly, they, 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 they off. So the time is going to come where the Lord is going to make make known who his true men are. Like it says in 2nd Edges 16. Okay, then shall it be known who am I chosen. When, when the devil come down with great wrath, sparing none, it's going to be known who the Lord is truly with because of the hedge, because of the protection. That the Lord is offering to certain individuals is going to be a clear distinction of who the Lord's with and who He's not with. It, it's, it's going to be impossible to not know if the Lord is is dealing with a person. It's going to be evident because everybody else is going to be getting jacked up on a severe level. So, if we continue in the faith, it's, it's going to be known, man. If if the Lord is with you, the Lord going to make it known. To you, which you should already know if the Lord is dealing with you, but it's going to be no room, no room for doubt in that day. All right. Verse 10, because. All right. This is the key point. Why? Thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. So because of what you're doing now, because of you've been sacrificed for Yahweh Shai, 
putting off this world, putting off your own life, putting off yourself, putting off your so-called family, your wife, your children, whatever it, it may be. So it won't come between you and the Lord. You put in the Lord first and his word, his, his doctrine. You've been teaching week in and week out. You've been doing lessons. You've been on fire and fellowship and been showing charity, all these things, right? So the Lord is going to keep you from the hour of temptation. I mean, he's going to attend to you carefully. That's what the word keep me, Tyreo. That's what that's because you've been attending to his word carefully. He's going to attend to you carefully. So when when everybody else is starving, getting chased by demons, being chased by the so-called white man and his forces. You know, catching all type of diseases. Natural disasters, you know, buildings falling on them, all type of shit. Because the Lord is really, what's really going to happen, the Lord is going to let Satan off the leash, basically. <laughs> you know, most I basically going to tell Satan, he, I, I got a certain number of men, you, you can't really do nothing to them like that, but everybody else just go ham. And that's basically what's going to happen. So... While all that's happening, it's going. The Lord's going to have to attend to you carefully, because there's going to be so much hell going on. But He said He's going to do it, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So, major hell is coming on everybody on the planet, and it's going to ultimately lead to them receiving an the MOTB, just to have some type of uh, sustenance, some type of, you know, stability. When when the dollar collapses, when there's no food in these stores, you saw gonna have to hand out rations and universal basic income and all type of shit. There's not gonna be no jobs out here, no work for Egypt as the scriptures say. When when all these things, you know, it's gonna have a lot of false flags. Oh yeah, a lot of false flags is coming. Cyber attacks. The, this whole current system is getting ready to be shut down. And they're going to try to bring it back up. But in order for you to take part, you're going to have to have that, that chip. Okay? And the Lord's elect, they're not taking that chip. So they're going to really need the Lord in that time to pro provide just for their daily bread. It's going, to be a, it's going to take a miracle just for you to eat. Just for you to eat, just for you to make it through the day, it's going to take uh, a series of, of high-level miracles, man. That's really the time we're we, we, we getting into. So for those that that's don't believe in the miracles, that don't believe in that you, your faith is not on a level to to where you, you know that the Lord can make a way out of no way to turn nothing into something. If you, you don't believe that, then you're not going to make it, period. All right. Because in order for the Lord to establish those different miracles in your life, you have to have a certain level of faith. OK. But um, verse 11, and, and it, it ultimately it says what? To try them. That's the key point. That's another key point. It says to try them that dwell upon the earth. So really this is coming so it can be made manifest who people really are. What's their true intent? What's they all about? These so-called Christians that say they love God and they all about the, the Lord. Okay. And they, they always got something to say about the Hebrew Israelites. It's going to be made known if 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 you were truly uh, worshiping the, the, the true power, the true God of heaven and earth. If, if you really was a servant, it's going to be, it's, uh, it's going to be made manifest who the Lord's with and who he not with. Okay. Verse 11. And this is a, uh, more key points. Behold, I come quickly. Yahweh Shah is coming fast, man. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, right? Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. So that word fast is an old English uh, saying for tightly, like you fasten your seatbelt. We got to hold on to this thing of ours, like the Apostle Gabar loves to say. This thing of ours, our thing, this is which is our faith, this word, this gospel, this truth. We have to hold it fast. We got to hold it tight. And how do you do that? Guarding your mind. From the wicked thoughts and fiery darts that the spiritual demons say and try to throw at you, thoughts of doubt, thoughts of that you're not 
of the elect that you're not uh the lord not really with you okay you gotta study you gotta pray first and foremost you gotta pray okay you gotta talk to your power you gotta read you gotta fast at times you gotta do whatever it takes really you gotta do whatever it takes to maintain your faith no matter what okay whatever that and that's up for you to really figure out Certain things may have to be cut off. Certain things you have to examine. You got to be real with yourself. You got to work out. We have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, as the scriptures say. You actually got to work it out. Okay? You got to do what you got to do. All right? Let no man take thy crown, not even yourself. So the crown is there. It's waiting for you. All you got to do is hold on. You just gotta, we just got to hold on, man. Fasten your seatbelt, sit tight, and hold on. Never let go for nothing. Just like Jacob wrestled with the angel, our forefather. And he said, I will no wise let thee go, lest thou bless me. That's the spirit man mentality we have to have with this truth. Okay? Verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my power. Meaning you're going to be of the 144,000. First and foremost, you're going, you're going to be of the elect, meaning the kingdom of heaven is going to be built up and you're going to be a, a major figure in the kingdom of heaven. When the when the kingdom of heaven is established on earth, you're going to be one of those those bricks, one of those pillars, man, that that, you know, just like it tells you, I forget what chapter of Revelation where it talks about those 12 gates all having the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. And uh, the names of the 12 apostles, 12 apostles. Basically, your name is going to be written in heaven. Your name is going to be etched in stone. You're going to be one of those pioneers. You're going to be one of the forefathers of Yasharala. For all eternity. Okay? 3,000, 4,000, 10,000 years into the kingdom, stories is going to be told about how you endured to the end. For Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. Just like today, we, we go into history and read about other famous men, uh, Esau's, you know, in, in America, George Washington, all that bullshit. It's going to be like that in, in, in righteousness. Okay? And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my power, and the name of the city of my power, which is New Jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my power and I will write upon him my new name meaning you're going to be you're going to be rejuvenated you're going to be uh re-energized through the spirit remade the Lord going to give you a new body a new mind you're going to be programmed to do righteousness okay you're going to be part of that heavenly Jerusalem which we know Jerusalem is a people before as a place right so new Jerusalem is going to be that those those new and improved elect spirits man the, the, the true Yashar Allah the true Israel of the most high okay he that have an ear let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches so we have we have to uh, take heed to these words man talking to myself first if you really desire this thing if you really want this you gotta do what you gotta do through the spirit and you can't fold now is not the time to fold man okay so this is a quick exhortation I wanted to do. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Rechakodash. Until the next one, Shalom.